Hi, I'm Colin Tobias, and joining me right now is uh, Congressman Mike Doyle from the 18th Congressional District in the state of Pennsylvania. Congressman Doyle, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to be with us. Happy to do it. Alrighty, so oh, um, alrighty, Congressman Doyle. So, um, so um, I do want to get to you about policy in a minute. Yeah, but first, um, but first, um, I want to maybe get a, I want to get like a better understanding for our viewers. Uh, about your uh, position as the chair of the uh, Subcommittee of Communications and Technology and the House Committee on Energy and Commerce. So like, what is your position um, um, as the uh, chair of the uh, subcommittee? Well, as chairman of communications and technology, uh, my subcommittee uh, has jurisdiction on, on all those th issues, uh, things like net neutrality, uh, a lot of what you're seeing on these platforms with regards to privacy and, and disinformation, uh, that flows through our committee. We have jurisdiction over the Federal Communications Commission. So from time to time, we have the FCC commissioners in front of our committee uh, to speak with them and ask them questions on, on policies they're carrying out. Um, we we uh, are, are dealing with uh, spectrum auctions right now. As you know, 5G is is, uh, the big thing we want to make sure we're keeping up with the rest of the world on 5G deployment. And to do that, uh, we need a lot of mid-band spectrum. And uh, so that needs to be auctioned off uh, and, and uh, for that. And then the other thing is, is uh, one of the things we want to do is a, uh, a huge broadband deployment bill uh, to make sure that we're getting broadband to rural America uh, and underserved areas in America. Uh, this pandemic has really made it clear uh, that there are two kinds of Americas. Uh, the Americas where kids can distance learn because they have access to the internet uh, and equipment and those that can't. Uh, and we're seeing this with healthcare too. Uh, so uh, accessibility is important, but affordability is important too. Uh, and in this bill, we're looking at about a $100 billion bill that we're uh, hoping to introduce in the beginning of the next session of Congress uh, that will deal with both accessibility and affordability. So those are some of the things my committee does.